Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. Jessica here with the last week of World Watercolor Month. Today I'm sharing with you the speed paints of that week. There were only three paintings for that week and the first one was Glorious Greens. So I thought what could be more gloriously green than leaves and so I just decided to do a simple painting of some leaves with all the different types of green from blue green to yellow green to a very vibrant green and I started with a light version of those colors first and then later I added on a little bit more pigment a little less water and made them a little darker and if you stay all the way to the end of this video you'll see my major malfunction that I had during this painting but I did keep going I was able to recover from it and I thought this painting turned out pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. Our next prompt was wild things and so I have just been on a sea creature beach life kick lately so I decided I would paint a tail. Now I couldn't decide if it was going to be a mermaid tail or a whale tail but I guess it didn't really matter in the end. I sketched it out really loosely, really free and I actually had a lot of fun with the sketch too. So I started with a little bit of yellow. I was thinking I want it to be lighter and brighter there, but actually that was the wrong yellow to use and it made this really earthy green, which was not what I was going for in this case. But, you know, you just go with it. I could have uh, taken it out, blotted it out and, and that sort of thing, but I didn't worry about it. I just kept going and put some blue, more blue and tried to sort of rescue it a little bit. And I did more blues and purples and lots of splattering and splashes. I just wanted it to feel like water was going everywhere. This is this is a wild thing, right? Its tail is splashing and, and there's water everywhere. So that's what I was thinking when I was painting. And you know me, I can't really resist splattering. I just love doing it so much. So that made it even extra fun that I could just have it go everywhere. Now the last prompt for World Watercolor Month was favorite colors and so I could do anything in my favorite colors and I just decided I would make sort of a background and I used all kinds of blues. I used Indian Throne Blue, I used Cobalt Teal, I used, uh, what did I use? Peacock Blue from Mission Gold and then I also added pinks in there. This new pink that Lisa Hetrick told me about by Holbein is Shell Pink and some quinacridone rose which is really pretty and I just had fun painting and I decided I wanted a lot of texture so I have a very watery kind of painting going on and my paper warped so I just flipped it over sprayed the back and then I'm flipping it back around but the paint did move around because it was very watery but this was just a loose background so it didn't really matter too much so I just wanted to add texture. I used water droplets. I used salt. I used alcohol. I did it all. Well, I didn't do plastic wrap, but I did add all of these different textures, two kinds of salt, and just let it do its thing. It's beautiful watercolor thing. And now I have a really pretty background and or an abstract, depending on what I want to end up doing with it. So that's World Watercolor Month. I had a great time. I'll have a flip for you coming out really soon in the next day or two. So keep your eyes open for that. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit that bell. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <gasps> really? Did I just do that? Oh my gosh.